I'm back everyone. Maybe in a situation where for some reason your Xbox application is just not working. Maybe there are some random issues, you know, problems within the specific application. Now the very first thing I would recommend looking at is to actually go ahead and open up the app and see what the error is. If you open up the application and for some reason you're not able to set up your console, maybe you're not able to sign in or anything like that, the very first thing I would recommend doing and the easiest way to fix it is to make your way back into your app store just like this. You want to search up the Xbox application, whether you're on Android, iOS, it doesn't matter. And all you want to do is go and open it up and you want to update this application. This is by far one of the easiest ways to fix this problem. And anytime I've had this issue on my Xbox or with my Xbox application, all I had to do was go ahead and update it and most of the time it'll fix it. Now, another thing I recommend doing is making sure that your Xbox itself is, is or was connected to your specific Xbox app, but you also want to make sure that your Xbox is plugged in. If your Xbox remote play is just not working, where you can't even access your you know, actual Xbox, you wanna make sure the Xbox is plugged in, make sure it's connected to an internet you know, of some sort, and you also wanna make sure that your Xbox was already set up with your specific iPhone or Android or whatever it was. If it wasn't through this application, well then that's pretty much the main thing you have to do. So you may have to go ahead and reconnect your Xbox. That's one thing you may have to do, and you may have to kind of go from there. So that's another thing I'd recommend looking at. If all else fails and that doesn't work either, I would recommend deleting the Xbox application. So just go ahead and hold it down like this and go ahead and just remove the app. And you want to go ahead and just reinstall it. Although it may not fix it every single time, that's another thing you can do to go ahead and fix it as well. If none of those things work, you may want to make sure that your Xbox is still working and everything like that. And you also want to make sure Xbox servers aren't down, that Microsoft isn't having any issues, because if they all are having issues, well, then that pretty much will go ahead and, you know, have it, you know, have you having issues as well. So those are pretty much the main things to do in this specific case. If you have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.